Now, Love is a Stranger perhaps was before its time here then, do you think? Because yeah. now it starts to fit into yeah. all the music at home. You know? Yeah, it's extraordinary. When it came out in this country, it caused a big stir, but it didn't actually sell. Uh, but it kind of made the way for the next one because up to that point people weren't able to say Eurythmics like you just said and couldn't say it. Right. And, and they kind of, we were, we had a bad stigma because the tourists became like a very bad name here through the media and stuff, they didn't like the tourists. And they were rather anti Eurythmics and we just had to prove it, that we could do something. And um, I'm very satisfied now because uh, I've been there all the way through. It's been two years since we were in Australia. Right? Right. And the progression has been something fantastic. And I just want to get back so I can play to people. And Sweet Dreams, of course, is now sort of almost, well, it is top ten. Well, it was number two last week. Right. It went down, but the album went up to number three. So you must be absolutely delighted. Well, it's, uh, it's satisfying, you know. I mean, I've been in the music business long enough to know that, uh, that one hit single or one hit album is not what it's really all, all about. And for me, it's basically, I love making music. Um, I wanted to make music that I first of all responded to and thought was great and um, I do, I like this music very much and I'm just looking forward to getting in the studio again and making the next album.